Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to prepare DSA for placements. So a lot of people get confused as to how they should learn DSA placement wise because there's so many resources available. So I am going to show you how you can be placement ready with your DSA in just 3 steps. Okay. Also this video is a part of my placement duration playlist which is all about how to track your dream placement. I will give a link to that in the description, it will also appear on one of the corner cards. So do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos and let's get to the steps. So the first step I have for you is list out the DSA. So what do I mean by that? So when you go for placements, companies will ask you problems from certain data structures and algorithm. For example, they might ask you problems from linked list, from binary search tree, from stack, queue, graph, etc. Right? So I want you to get a list of all the data structures and algorithm which are important for placements that you're going to learn. So make a list of such data structures and algorithm on either Google Docs or any other note making website, whatever you like. As for where you'll get the list, Go on Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks is an amazing website. It has everything for computer science students. So Geeks for Geeks has the list of all DSA which are relevant to placements. I'll also give a link to every data and algorithm which are important. So the point is to get the list of all the DSA which are important that you're going to learn. Once you have the list of the DSA, you're going to learn it one by one. So you're going to learn every data and algorithm on the list one by one. Okay, for example, if you start from link list, then you'll go to BST, then you'll go to the next DS. So how are you going to learn it? First, you need to decide on a programming language that you're going to code in. As for the programming language, I suggest you to either take C++ or take Java. Okay? If you want, you can even take any other language like Python or something else. But I strongly suggest you to either take C++ or take Java. Okay? Once you've got in the programming language and once that's out of the way, for every DSA, the two important parts are the theory part of it and the code part of it. Okay, so first you're going to learn the theory. Theory as in if you go, if you're on the graph data structure, then how does DFS work? Or if you're on linked list, how does the linked list form? Okay, so the theory part of it. And how are you going to learn the theory of it? The best way to learn the theory of any DSA is YouTube. Okay, so I'm not even kidding right now. So go on YouTube, for example, if you want to learn linked list, go on YouTube, search linked list, and you'll see so many videos from which you can learn the theory. And I'll also name some channels like Abdul Bari. So Abdul Bari is a legend. And Abdul Bari, we have Tushar Roy, and a lot of people who make very amazing videos on the theory part of DSA. So learn the theory part of DSA by heart, okay? Actually be able to conceptualize how the DSA is working theory-wise. Once you've gotten the theory out of the way, once you've learned the theory, you need to be able to code the data structure or implement the data structure. Okay, for example, if you are on linked list, then you learn the theory part of linked list and now you need to implement linked list in whatever programming language you chose. So try to implement it yourself. In case you're not able to implement it yourself, again, go on, go on Geeks for Geeks and Geeks for Geeks has the implementation of every data structure and algorithm in all languages, C++, Java, C, Python. So go on Geeks for Geeks and if you're not able to implement it yourself, take hint. Okay? The point is to learn the theory and the implementation of the data structure which you are on currently. Okay? Once you've learned the theory and you've learned how to implement the data structure, data structure or algorithm, you're going to practice problems. So this is the most important part. Okay? And where you're going to practice problems? Lead code. So lead code is the best website for learning DSA. So go on lead code if you're on linked list. And you've learned the theory, you've learned the code, go on lead code, search linked list and try to solve as many problems as you can according to what time and what time you have, okay, for your preparation. So, so try to solve as many problems as you can. So try to solve as many easy problems as you can, as many media problems as you can. And for hard, even if you don't solve a lot of problems, it's okay. But for easy and medium, try to solve as many problems as you can till you are confident. And in case if you're not able to solve any problem, then lead code also has video tutorials so you can learn from video tutorials also on youtube these days everything is available on youtube so if you're not able to solve the problem go on youtube and search for the video tutorial okay but try to solve as many problems as you can for every dsa till you're confident okay now bonus tip for you after you've done everything is mock interviews so if you can afford it then there's various websites where you can schedule mock interviews and they'll be taking your interview just like a normal interview would. But if you don't want to go for paid mock interviews, then go on YouTube and search mock interviews. 
and then in the mock interview see how the person attending the mock interview is thinking and you can learn a lot from their thought process to again name a few youtube channels that have this uh, clement if you don't know clement takes a lot of mock interviews on his channel and striver also took a couple of mock interviews if i'm not wrong we have golf saint so these youtube channel have a lot of mock interviews so see the mock interview video see how the person is attempting the mock interview how they're putting forward their idea and that will help you in gaining a lot of knowledge and in cracking your own interviews okay so that's it you just listed out all the data which an algorithm from geeks or geeks or from my description box and then you learned every data structure one by one how did you learn it first you got you got a programming language you learned the theory from youtube from anywhere it doesn't matter then you learned how to code it using geeks or geeks and then you practice problems on lead code in case you're not able to solve any problem you watch the video tutorial to understand and then you just learned some mock interview either you gave some mock interviews or you saw some mock interviews and if you do this it will be more than enough for you to be placement ready and you will be able to crack any interview just make sure that you put in the work you put in the effort with dedication and with this you will be able to crack any interview dsa wise okay so that's all thank you